Oh, oh. Hello. I'm on the trail of the very newest 4x4 off-roader. But the levels to which Nissan are taking me to to find it are pretty ridiculous. A, I've had to come to Finland. B, I've come over rivers, walked through more trees and woods. But hold on. I think I've found it. I think I have found it. Now this, if I'm right, is the Nissan X-Trail. I tell you what, I hope it's been worth the effort. Let's find out. Finland is a driver's dream location, and Nissan have really hit it on the button with the course they set us. It really did have something of everything to put the car to the test. From motorway cruising, to demanding country roads, to gravel, and a really strenuous 4x4 course. The reality is, of course, that the majority of buyers of the X-Trail will spend an awful lot of time on motorways and clogged up city roads. And the good news is, it's a very impressive performer. Two litre engines, very smooth and quiet. The gearbox is slick and refined. You have the usual high seating position of a 4x4. And it's an altogether very relaxing experience. Now this beats stopping at the services on the M25 any day. This is what I call civilised motorway driving. I'm seriously impressed by the interior of the X-Trail. Nissan are really trying hard to shake off their old dull and bland interior and this is another big step forward. I particularly like the instruments move to the right in the centre of the dashboard, which uh, not only is very good from a safety point of view, but they're big and bold instruments as well. Yeah, this is definitely the most original interior for 4x4 since the Freelander came along. Not quite as good a material finish to the trim, but pretty good. And it knocks the new Ford Maverick into a cocked hat. Think 4x4s and you don't automatically think Nissan, but they've actually got a pretty impressive pedigree. They're celebrating 50 years of building 4x4s this year. And with the new X-Trail, they've obviously gone very much for the Tonka toy macho look. I mean, this is a chunky machine for big boys. What I particularly like about it is it's got a really good shape to it. I like the bulging wheel arches, not over the top, but just enough to give it a real bit of street cred. And it's full of lovely little touches, like the chrome door handles. It really sets it out a little bit, it gives the car a good lift. And it's nicely defined shape all the way to the back, where we've got these rather impressive tall tail lights, which are not only very safe, but they also set the back end alight, give it a little bit of a distinctive appearance to it. The whole dimension of it is pretty impressive as well, which is also exactly what you can say about the interior. If this isn't the funkiest interior you've seen for a while, I don't know what is. And what I like about the X-Trail is, it's not just a car full of clever gimmicks. Take a look in the back here. Armrest, yeah. But behind the armrest, you've got two handy little pockets, which are really good just for stowing knickknacks. Pull that forward, and you've got the opening to get in anything from skis in the winter, 
and if you're into more active sports like surfing in the summer just pull that little catch and you can get two or three surfboards in here a couple of mountain bikes in fact whatever leisure thing turns you on this car can cope with it this back in England at the end of a hard day there's nothing to beat a wonderful sauna and of course you'd have to have a sauna in Switzerland wouldn't you so as I keep myself rather healthy I'll see you after the break when things are going to get really tough because that's going to be serious off-roading tomorrow morning bye <laughs>